Hey, Scott, we've got a beat on the top and the bottom line uh, from Tesla, but it's the numbers within the numbers, and we're going to talk about that with automotive gross margins in just a little bit. First of all, on the top and the bottom line, they earn a buck 19 a share, better than the expectation of a buck 13. Revenue coming in at 24.32 billion. The street was expecting 24.15 billion. So there's your beat on the top and the bottom line. But the automotive gross margins, excluding zero emission vehicle credits, was expected to come in at 26.2% came in at 24.3%. So considerably lower than many people were expecting, which raises the question, how much of this is because of the price cuts cutting into margins in China? Is there another issue that potentially is weighing uh, on the uh, gross margins? But again, coming in at 24.3%, which is lower than what most were expecting. Most had it at 26.2%, 26.3%. Remember, it was 26.8% in the third quarter and over 29% in the fourth quarter of last year. So that shows you the margin compression that is taking place there. Scott, we'll send it back to you. Yeah, Phil, and I know I'll hear from you uh, again shortly. Just pop on whenever you got something that our viewers need to know about. Dan Ives, you, you saw the GM number, gross margins, 24.3. I suppose you're going to tell me better than feared? No, look, what I tell you, I think Phil hits on it. I mean, they're ultimately needing to sacrifice margins for volume. And now the question is, with a price war happening in China, what does the trajectory look like in 2023? Street's really going to be focused on what does that margin level look like in 2023 and volumes. Can you get to a 1.8 and a 22, 23 percent number? But you said the 23 percent coming in today was the, the quote unquote line in the sand for you. They exceeded that even though they're you know, a little bit below what the street was expecting in terms of 26 and change. Look, now and now it's really all about going forward. You know, can they maintain margins? Because if you look at the price cuts really started in the month of January, and that's what, what I view as a moment of truth for Tesla in terms of can they ramp deliveries, which we believe they can, and the scale, and maintain those margins, which are so well above the industry. And what about a buyback? You know, there's been some whispers around that maybe – Musk is going to do a buyback. Do you think there's any credibility to that? Yeah, well, I think there is. I mean, the company's in a phenomenal cash situation. You look what's happened to the stock, and there is more pressure on that in terms of doing a buyback. They're in that position. That would probably be one of the key points on the conference call if Musk and Zach address it.